Hello everyone, welcome to Joyr. In this particular video, we are going to learn how to delete email from all mailboxes in Exchange Online Microsoft 365. We do it through PowerShell command. I shall share this command in the description. So before doing that, let me explain you the scenario. In your organization, a user has sent a confidential data to all the employees and you want to delete that mail from all the mailboxes. Or in other case, all the employees in an organization has received some phishing mail or spam mail or some uh, nasty mail to all the employees and the team is telling you to delete that mail from all the mailboxes this is a scenario so let's learn how to delete email from all the mailboxes exchange online all right so let's start from the very beginning i'm drafting a mail this is my gmail account and i am sending an email to uh, this organization this is my own domain. So I am sending the mail to uh, these people. I have kept the subject as test email deletion content search one. So this is what I am going to uh, keep as a body. And now we will type something. In the content area, I type this is a test mail to verify the deletion of this mail from all the mailboxes. So and I am going to send this to two people. All right. Let me send this. Now I have sent the mail. So this should come to uh, the, those people. We will check whether they have received this mail or not. Let's wait. We'll just refresh the page. And I have opened the mailboxes here. Yes, you could see that mail has received here and in the other mailbox also. So we have that mail received at 1406. Uh, 2024 at 14 a. Now we want to delete this mail from all the mailboxes from both these mailboxes. We do this through PowerShell command. Let us connect the PowerShell. Run as administrator. Yes, so this is the command that has to be run first. Before running this command, let us know what this particular command does. So I have asked the copilot what this command does. So it has explained me. It, ex it set the execution policy from PowerShell script on the local machine. It set this execution policy from this local machine. Let's run it. Click enter. Okay, that's fine. Now we are going to set the uh, PowerShell repository as PowerShell gallery. So it set the specified PowerShell repository named the PS gallery to be posted. So what this command does, it set the specified PowerShell repository like PS Gallery as trusted. It keep as trusted. So we are going to run this particular command. All right. Enter. Yeah, that's fine. Now we are going to install the module name Exchange Online Management. Let's run this. As I have already installed this module, it may not take much time now. It, it will be much faster. When you are doing this particular step, it may take some time as you are doing installing it for the first time. Now we are going to import the module called Exchange Online Management. Let's install that module. Yeah, even that's run. Now we are going to run the command called connect IPPS session. What this command that it, it establish a connection to the security and compliance center through partial environment. Let's run this particular command connect. IPPS session. All right. So it asks for the credentials. I'm giving the credentials here. All right. Now it's it got connected. The next step is that we are going to create a new compliance search in the name phishing email one, and the exchange location it's all in. It is going to search in all the exchange location, and the content match query it it comes from this particular mail ID. And the subject is like test, uh, test mail deletion content search one. This is the subject of that particular mail and received on this particular date. So this is what we are going to do it now. Even we can run this content search. We can run it from the QTN complaint portal. Here you have an option like content search. Click on here. Yeah, and click on new search. Give a name. Click on next. So we are going to search it in the exchange mailboxes. Click on next. Here you can give some condition like 
center so here is the center another condition subject subject we know subject we have set as email deletion content search one so we have got that all right so and uh, click next click next and submit so in this way you can create you can search the content search what we are going to do we do it through the powershell command so let me copy this a new search has been started with the name phishing email one and it is just startup so it may take some time to uh, get finished we will wait for that so know whether it got finished or what is the status of this compile and search we have a command called compile and search let me copy and paste it here okay so these are the uh, compare and search which I have executed just before. This is the one which I have started through the PowerShell command here. Let's wait till it get completed. So this was the one which we initiated through PowerShell command. So it got completed now. So we are here. Now what we have to do, we, we just want to list those phishing email. Uh, get more details on that. So to do that, we can use this command compliance search minus identity phishing email one let me copy this command and paste it in the powershell so it gives more details on that particular email now what we are going to do we are going to delete those mails like hard delete Let me paste it in the partial command. Click enter. It is asking us to confirm it. Let me confirm all. All right. So the purging or the deletion is just started now. To know the status of this, we have an another command. Come by and search action. All right. Let me copy the command. Meanwhile, we'll do one thing. We'll search it in our uh, mailbox whether it got deleted or not. Let's see. We will just refresh it. This is that. Ah, oh, it's gone. See, that particular mailbox is gone from Morali, and we'll see that on the other mail ID, which is uh, Jojo. Yeah, even it is gone from here also. Search action. Yeah, it's completed. So this is that particular one, and you could see. The mail has disappeared from the mailbox. So this is the way how you can delete the, an email from all the mailboxes. Thanks for watching. We will meet you in another video. Till then, bye.